So I will now say something about the Belgrade Opera. So the National Theatre in Belgrade was established in 1868, at the time when the first modern cultural institutions such as National Library and National Museum were founded in Serbia. It started as a drama theatre, but the first opera performance was held in 1894. So officially the opera was founded in 1920. Its repertoire policy was always clearly defined and it was based on the so-called iron repertoire, meaning traditional operas composed by some of the greatest Italian, German, French and Russian composers. Somewhat less, but certainly persistently and continuously, the local opera was nurtured and encouraged. So between 1920 and 1993, 24 local operas were performed. The contemporary operas were present, but to a lesser extent. So I basically started from a line of arguments defined and explained by Jason Story in 2003 and 2006, who states that the social visibility of opera has increased. So opera can be understood and seen as a cultural practice present in different ways, as art, entertainment, or integral part of public culture, which can be articulated according to different social intentions and pleasures. So opera is nowadays also used in commercial purposes and as a background to different arm forms. So story stems on opera, being at the same time elite and popular music form made me define a hypothesis of this research, which is if opera is much more present in both public and private life, since the music market and access to different media is expanding, then it implies that the profile of opera audience has changed. So that further makes me think that the audience of the opera of the National Theatre in Belgrade is heterogeneous and consisted of individuals of different age, levels of education, professions and material status. So in connection with that, it can be assumed that opera is more present in both their private and public life. So what did I do? Opera performances are held on two stages in National Theatre, the big stage, or Velika Scena, for 559 visitors, and the Rasha Plavich stage for 281 visitors. I started by doing a statistical analysis of the repertoire and the number of visitors during a five year long period prior to my research. So from 2003 till 2008. The number of visitors from 2003 to 2006 was approximately from 23,000 to 30,000 with an average number from 280 to uh, let's say 500 people per performance. And then in the season 2007 and 8, this number was higher, approximately 43,000 with an average number per performance uh, 704 due to the performance of Verdi Zaida in Sava Center, which can accommodate more people than the big stage in the National Theatre. When it comes to repertoire, the analysis showed a very clear manifestation of the iron repertoire policy. So during those five seasons, 36 different operas were performed, out of which 22 were Italian, 6 German, 3 French, 2 Russian, 2 Serbian, and 1 American. So in terms of number of performances, Italian were first, followed by French, German, and Russian. The total number of all performances in those five seasons is or was 344. 
My sample included 100 people who were selected by the sample random sampling method. I used the survey, made a 45, 47 questions, sorry, both closed and open-ended. Data were collected during three OPERA performances, which coincided with their general representation in the repertoire. So one Italian, one French, and one German. And now something about the result or results. So I will first say something about the social demographic profile of the opera audience, and then I will move to its music participation. So I won't have time, of course, to interpret all the data, as I, I, I have many, as much as I would like, but of course, feel free to ask um, after the presentation. So 60% of the opera audience are women. When it comes to age, the cohorts from 51 to 60 and over 61 are present the most. And that is even three times more than the cohort that includes primary and secondary school students. In terms of education, 68% is highly educated. Most of them women older than 60. So in this category, 2.04% has a PhD title, and they are all women. Experts are the largest category, followed by artists and students. More than half of the audience thinks that their material status is high, so 51.06%. Um, and they are equally men and women mostly professionals from 51 to 60 um, years old. When it comes to private music practices, my focus was on listening to opera at home. I, of course, had many questions about music in general, but I am now focusing on opera alone. So most of them do that less than a few times per month which is 38%, which can be interpreted as a few times per year, once per year, or even once every few years. So it means basically rarely. The number of men and women in this category is very close, and they're mostly 31 to 40-year-old professionals. 50% listen to opera every day. More women than men, and the vast majority is highly educated, older than 60. So how do they do that? At that time, they mostly used radio, 37%, and then internet, 21, and then other uh, resources such as CDs, LPs, and so on. Women use radio, and men use internet. When it comes to public music participation, I used a very common question in these kind of research. So I asked them about how many times they have attended an opera performance in the last 12 months prior to my research. 40% did it four to six times, whereas 25% did it six to 12 times. In every defined category, women were more represented. And the same goes for experts or highly educated respondents. Those who are older than 50, but younger than 61, are the ones most represented in the category who did it four to six times. And now the last slide, thank you. So to conclude, the popularization of opera is happening, but it is not affecting the Belgrade opera audience as much as one would expect. So its profile is heterogeneous, but still very close to the stereotypical one. Mostly female, older, highly educated experts with high material status. They rarely listen to opera at home, 
And when they do, then they do it via radio. Again, mostly older, highly educated. Thank you.